Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 174. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Magic Tricks 168 174. Hey, in this video, I want to show you an amazing trick that actually made it to the Hall of Fame at the Mr. Excel. Dot com uh, message board and this is um, a trick back from back in nine, uh, 2002 from the most amazing guy I've seen so far there at this uh, message board uh, Aladdin now here's a link up here and if you download this you can just click on it and I'll show you the mr. Excel message board. This is the most amazing place ever. Any question you have, you can post it here. And in other videos, I've showed you how to uh, join. And maybe I'll show you that in just a moment. Register is right there. But here it is. This is in the Hall of Fame area. This guy asked this question. And um, this guy, Aladdin, and I can't pronounce his last name from The Hague. Uh, answered and this guy has answered a lot of my questions and it's just unbelievable some of the complete flawless solutions I get this from this guy there's other guys that are totally amazing the great thing about this site is uh, sometimes there's 500 people looking at the message board all at once waiting to answer your question now I'm gonna close this and uh, then come down here and show you the problem firsthand here. Now here was the question. We had um, some values here, number. These are like uh, some sales reps. And then here's some values. Zero is, uh, say, one person. There's a zero is another person. Zero is another person. Zero is another person. And over here we want a list. But the list, when we show zero, we want the last um, zero entered. Right? When we get to one, we want the last one. So really, in this list here, we want 511 the last one and this can't be sorted by the way either that was one of the requirements here's number one so it should be 510 here uh, two the last two is right there so it's 505 the last three is this one 508 now how do you do that with a formula well there's a couple um, that's a relatively uh, um, straightforward formula but <laughs> To be able to think it up yourself is just amazing. And actually, if you go to that uh, link I just showed you, this guy, Aladdin, gave the most eloquent, beautiful explanation of how it works. All right, here we go. How are we going to do this? Well, this is unsorted. We have a zero here, and somehow we need to, in this list, find the last value. Well, there's this great trick of big number and the lookup function, and there's uh, hundreds of examples at the message board of the use of this. Now here, what we're going to do is we're going to create an array of the number ones and error messages. And then we'll tell the lookup to find the number two. Since the biggest number that we're going to create in our array is one, when it tries to find the two, it'll race to the end and find the last one. So for us, in essence, it'll find a 1 in this array we create, which will be here. And using the lookup, we'll then uh, come over and get this value and deliver it here. Let's look at this array before we even create the formula. I'm going to type equals 1 divided by open parentheses. I'm going to highlight all of this right here equals this close parentheses. Now let's think about this. What this does right here, this part, equals this 2, it'll deliver a bunch of trues and falses. So if I highlight this, actually I'm going to blow this up even bigger so it's easier to see. Equals 1 divided by open parentheses this equals this, close parentheses. Now let's just see, this will deliver a bunch of trues and falses, right? I'll hit my F9 key to evaluate. Ah, <coughs> so there's a 2 there, there, and that's it. So really we want this one. Ah, but how do you convert trues and falses to ones? You either multiply, divide by one. In this case, we divide it. Oh, and what, what will it give us? One divided by true will give us one. So for all the trues for any number, we'll only get ones or um, errors, because one divided by false will give us a division error. I'm going to hit F9 just to show us. And that's the clever array that Aladdin created to then use the number two, the lookup, and the big number trick. All right, I'm going to click Escape, and let's click up here at the top and see if we can do this formula. Equals lookup, two, 
comma, and here's an array. Now here's another interesting thing, and, and Aladdin talks about this in his description. There's only two functions that will allow arrays without using the Control Shift Enter keyboard shortcut. They're lookup and sum product. All right, let's create an array one divided by open parentheses. Click there, Control Shift down arrow equals. Oh, I need we need to lock this. So I'm going to highlight there and hit F4, F4, equals the cell right there, close parentheses. Now here's the, we already have our lookup value 2. There's the lookup vector, comma, and then the result, we simply highlight the values, Control, Shift, Down Arrow, and F4, close parentheses. And there it is. Control, Enter. I didn't Control, Shift, Enter. Notice there's no curly brackets there. And then I double click and send it down. And sure enough, it did exactly what we want. 511, 510, 505, 333, 508. That's the last one, right? Four, where's the last four? 506. And the last five, right there, 509. Totally amazing. So I um, certainly suggest uh, go look at this one, the Hall of Fame. Uh, great one. Let's go take a, a click here and just see how to sign up for MrExcel.com. Uh, ask questions or just look around. That's that's what I do a lot of times. Here's the message board. You click on it. Oh, by the way, if you want to see Mr. Excel, who really is the first guy to start do videos of Excel online, you can sign up for his podcast and get a daily podcast. I'm going to click on the message board. And uh, right here, register. So you click on that and you can register. But here it is. Let's just see right now. There's 241 of the smartest Excel people in the world waiting for your questions. So you click here. And uh, sometimes I just uh, click through and, and look up, uh, read the interesting ones, and uh, or ask my own questions. All right. Uh, so. That's uh, an amazing get the last value in a from a list of unsorted values. And we'll see you next Excel trick.